were engaged by a $200 million sales retailer of women's apparel. Uh, they also sold uh, footwear and accessories, mostly through a catalog and online presence, but also through some retail stores. It was owned by a private equity firm. It owned the brand for a few years and uh, performance was not where they wanted the brand to be. And so they were looking at somebody to look at the finance function, um, how the reporting was done and to see if there was any opportunities to take costs out of the business. So right after we started our work was the first week that coronavirus really hit the U.S. shores when the NBA season was suspended and Tom Hanks announced that he had coronavirus. And so our work shifted really to focus on three things. Uh, first was managing liquidity. The company had extremely tight liquidity after sales fell by 50% from the prior year. And so managing who got paid and determining how much liquidity was available on a week to week basis was incredibly important. Uh, second was managing the vendor base itself, uh, not just uh, deciding who to pay and who not to pay, but trying to understand uh, where a product was coming from, the chances that it, they could get the product as, as many of the vendors were not able to operate. The whole country of India shut down for six weeks in the middle of this process. And so trying to allocate and manage those vendor relationships was incredibly important as well. And then finally, uh, uh, perhaps most importantly, was managing the, the lender relationship. The company had an asset-backed uh, loan facility from a large commercial bank that was in danger of going into default. And so we were tasked with uh, communicating with that lender and explaining to them how the company was going to remain in compliance despite everything that was going on and making sure that uh, that loan facility remained intact, was available to be borrowed against if needed to, to supplant the company's liquidity and also to give the company time to work through the, the challenges it was experiencing. So after a little while, it became pretty apparent that the company was inadequately capitalized and was, was not going to be able to survive uh, without a, a restructuring. And so the des decision was made by the board of directors to wind down the company in a way to, to generate as much value as possible to share with as many stakeholders as possible. And so we were put into the role of managing that wind down process. Uh, what ended up happening, we ended up being able to, to slowly wind down in an ordinary course way and got significantly better recoveries than what we were expecting from, from the low ball bids we got from liquidators. We ended up being able to repay the uh, bank facility at 100 cents on the dollar, which the bank was, was surprised by. I think there have been a lot of retail liquidations that have left um, secured lenders holding the bag, and so that was a real win. The intellectual property of the company also sold for several times more than folks were expecting, which meant that there was also a substantial recovery to unsecured creditors. Again, not something that happens in every retail situation that's analogous to this one. And finally, uh, we left the sponsor uh, feeling good about the process. We, we preserved the lending relationship that they had with that bank, who they have other relationships with, which was very important to them, and also um, really supported them throughout the process, so they were all satisfied. So it was a great outcome, all things considered, given the situation.